Hey guys, it's JD from Ponzo World, and today we're unboxing and reviewing this MP3 player made by Akimate. Now this is a $50 MP3 player that you guys can find on Amazon. Uh, links will be in the description below if you want to go pick this thing up. And I um, guess there's not really much more to say about it, so let's go and begin with uh, showing you around the box here. See around the front it says uh, FX200, I assume that's uh, maybe the model number. Hi-Fi touch music player, so this thing actually does have a uh, color touchscreen. That's really cool. That's going to be the main uh, point of this device here is to have this color touchscreen. So that's really nice. Um, you can see right down here, red dot 35. Um, again, maybe the model number or like their line of devices. I don't know, but either way, here's the front of the box. On the side here, you can see Acumate. Um, same thing on the side and FX200 on the bottom. Same thing on the top. And then on the back here, we have uh, specifications, 3.5 inch um, touch display, ultra thin uh, metal body. Okay, that's quite nice. Um, Built-in speaker, eight gigabyte uh, memory inside built-in. Uh, you could expand that up to 128 gigabytes right there. Um, you can see what's included here. It has uh, uh, earphones. Okay, we will be testing those out. Um, a 3.5 millimeter audio cable. Okay, that's quite cool. And actually, oh, check that out, USB-C. Okay, so that's really nice. This thing does uh, charge, through, charge through USB-C, so that's quite cool. Um, running armband, okay, so this thing's come with quite a, quite a bit of things, along with a, a case, really cool. Um, right there is the uh, um, tag or whatever, label, if you want to take a look at that. There you go, so let's go and open this thing up. Now, it does have shrink wrap on it. Once again, I always like it when companies do that. Just make it makes it seem, uh, I guess, more premium, kind of more like Apple-like. As I look at it, let's go and open it up here. Once again, quite a nice box. So let's go ahead and open this up. Kind of opens like an Apple box too. I have to kind of help it though. And all right, so on top looks like we have the MP3 player. Let's go and take that out. Feels nice so far. Got some good weight. Yeah, check that out. This thing seems really nice so far. Uh, definitely metal. Yeah, really nice. Let's turn this thing on, see if it has any juice out of the box, and it does. Let's go and wait for it to boot up. It should only take about a second. And just like that, it's on. And display, honestly, looks really good. Kind of has like an iOS, um, like app icons on here, the books. That's from iOS photos. That's pretty darn close to iOS. Uh, so is the setting. So it's kind of like taking on that ios skin type of thing let's go and turn it off here looks very nice there's that usb-c port i'm really looking forward to uh using that the uh headphone jack there and then a speaker port uh, micro sd card slot right there so let's go and set that off to the side over here and get into uh what else is included so it looks like we have to take this out all right and i would assume in here is your charging cable 3.5 um, adapter okay so yeah here's your earbuds and these are actually um let's go take them out and see and yeah okay so these are kind of like um apple earbuds again apple uh ear pods not air pods ear pods um yeah it's just these are in black they look exactly like them that doesn't necessarily mean they're bad um we will be testing them out though so there's that and let's go and see what else is included we have a adapter okay so Hmm, that's weird. It's micro USB to normal USB. All right, well, that might be for like transferring data or something. So there's that. Uh, you also here have your USB C cable. Take it out of the package here just to show you. There it is. Very cool. I really like that. It can charge through USB C. And lastly, we have our 3.5 uh, millimeter. Aux adapter, so then you can plug it into like your car stereo or something like that. So that's really nice. And lastly, we have there we go USB C to uh, normal USB. So that's for transferring data. Set that off to the side. And we also in here have okay, so here's the wristband. Um, that's really cool. So you can just test attach this to your wrist. 
you're running or working out or something like that, this thing will definitely come in handy. And then lastly, we have the, uh, the little case here. Yeah, check that out. That's really nice. Take out this foam here. And yep, sure enough, silicone. So it'll definitely work to protect against uh, scratches and minor falls and stuff like that. So really cool. And then last, we have the uh, user manual. So what I'm gonna go and do now is I'm gonna wait until about tomorrow to, uh, I guess, continue the review of this thing because I'm gonna spend overnight just messing with it and figuring out, figuring out uh, basically how this thing works. All right, so it is now the next day and I've had a little bit of time to uh, play around with this thing. I've loaded um, a, well, actually, I didn't load any music on this thing just because the, uh, mainly what I do is I download music from YouTube and all the sites that I was trying to download music from, um, I couldn't do it, okay? So what I did is I just simply downloaded a video for some reason, uh, Safari would download videos but not music. I don't know, it's not this thing's fault, but I downloaded a uh, video, which obviously that's gonna have audio in it, so we'll be able to kind of do a test on that and we'll just see how video uh, performs on this thing. So once again, there is a video loaded on here, um, along with actually a photo of a, uh, a deer actually that um, my friend Adam and I uh, found. Anyway, so let's go and begin with uh, just showing you around this thing and explaining what the different, bu different buttons do. So on the side here, Top one here is your uh, power button. You press that to obviously turn it on, turn it off. And then if the device is actually completely off, you would hold it to turn it on. Um, here is the, let's see here, this is the, okay, so this is volume down, I believe, volume up. And also looks like it, it uh, is also used as a skip button. So there's that. And then right here, this is interesting. This is actually a, uh, a record button. So if you hold down on that, it'll start recording. So that's pretty cool. And R right there. I assume that's just a microphone hole. Um, and then down here you have your headphone port along with the uh, speaker grill and your USB-C port, which is once again really cool. And then on the side here you have your SD card. I believe this one came with eight gigabytes of built-in storage. I'm gonna have to look at the back of the box here. Um, let's see here. Yeah, built-in eight gigabyte memory. So um, obviously you can expand that up to Again, I'm gonna have to, okay, 128 gigabytes. So definitely very high storage there. So in case the built-in eight gigabytes isn't enough for you, you can of course expand it. So there's that. Um, once again, the port is right there and nothing on the top. And that's pretty much it for the outside of this thing. It feels very solid though, I do have to say. Um, on the back here, you can see Acomate MP3 player and then the uh, model number gigabytes and so on. So let's go ahead and start with uh, showing the OS on this thing. So press the button and it immediately gets right into it. So first thing you have here is music. You click on that, which once again, the screen looks really good. And here you have all music, recently played, favorites, and then like your albums here. Now in this case, once again, I couldn't get music on here because the website just simply wouldn't download it. So I can't show too much in here, but you would click on all music and it would obviously show. Uh, all of your different titles of music. So there's that. And then this play button here, I believe that's kind of like a um, a shuffle button. So there's that. You also have plus here for a, a new file. It's gonna go back here and uh, second thing, you have video. Now this I can demonstrate. Um, in this case, I just have a trailer downloaded on here, an MP4 trailer. Um, this was on YouTube, I think like tr trending, I believe. Uh, so I just downloaded it. And okay, so it didn't like the first one. I assume that's why there's two. And yeah, there you go. You can see here, I'm gonna turn up the volume. Is it playing audio? Yeah, it is. Looks very good, I do have to say. I'm very impressed by the uh, picture quality on here. It looks worse on camera. Obviously, then it doesn't real life, but it's very impressive. It's quite nice. A, that's a good picture right there. So there it is. Definitely looks really good. I'm going to pause this before I get a copyright strike. Um, but in here, you have skip buttons along with the uh, play and pause and actually battery life too. And then a, your back button here. So um, picture quality, I have to say, it does actually look uh, surprisingly good. I'm very impressed by that. I've been impressed by... Uh, touchscreen mp4 players mp3 players they seem pretty nice 
Um, anyway, so that kind of leads me on to the second thing, audio quality out of the speaker. Um, I don't know if you guys could hear it very well, and that's kind of the problem. This speaker is very quiet, and it just, it doesn't sound good, okay? I can't say I'm surprised once again. Uh, the speaker in here is kind of for like a absolute worst case scenario where you have to like listen to music, but you don't have earbuds. Um, so like, it's not impressive by any standards. I've seen uh, way better, but I've pretty much, I mean, this is pretty close to the worst speaker in a built-in MP4 player. I do have to say that. So um, if they have to improve on one thing, I would definitely say the built-in speaker. Um, once again, it's not horrible. It'll definitely work. Um, but for someone like me that I actually, you know, really care about my audio quality, um, it's just, it's not the greatest. But that kind of, once again, leads me on to the next thing here, which is the headphones here. So once again, these came included in the box. And these are clearly like knockoff um, Apple earbuds. That doesn't necessarily mean they're bad, but it's just the design um, is, which it's matte black. I kind of like that. And I went ahead and plugged these into an iPhone and I tried out some music and I do have to say I am thoroughly impressed with these little things here. Um, I don't know how they're going to hold up over time, but audio quality, at least now brand new, um, it does sound very impressive. So if you have the built-in earbuds, you'll be happy with audio quality. Uh, but if you're just using the built-in speaker, I, I mean, I would at least recommend using these or something. Um, I'm just going to plug it in here. And show you guys, let me see how loud it gets. I'll try to demonstrate this on camera. Let's play a video and let's see here. Yeah, I'm serious. Like these earbuds are actually surprisingly good. There you go, you can kind of hear it there. Uh, earbuds, once again, I'm thoroughly impressed with the earbuds. I expected a lot worse from them. Um, if only just they made the built in speaker better, that would have been so nice. Um, anyway, so going on here you can see here next thing you have is the photos app i'm going to click on that and this is the image i have here you can see just to this is just to show that the photo app actually works you can see there's a little deer uh, this was on uh, my friend adam's uh, trail camera and i just brought it over to this thing so there you go you can see it does clearly work let's go and go back um, next thing you have is the record app and here you can make a, a voice recording I'm, guess I'm going to do that now. I believe you could tap on this. Now you have to press start recording. Okay, so this is what the uh, recording sounds like coming off of this uh, little MP3 player made by Akimate. Let's go and uh, pause it. I'm going to see if I could do it from the button here. Let's try that out. And no, I cannot. Okay, complete. There you go. Okay, so you can't uh, pause the uh, voice recording from the button on the side file list and i believe which one is it um i'm gonna say this one Let's see. oh no that definitely wasn't it <laughs> okay that must have been when i was messing around with it earlier there we go okay so this is what the uh, recording sounds like coming off of this uh, little mp3 player made by Akimate. let's go ahead and pause it i'm gonna see if i can do it Okay, so, oh, and now it's going on to the original recording. Uh, so there's that. So it it works. Again, microphone quality isn't the greatest. It might have just build, been the uh, built-in speaker. So I'm going to plug in the headphones and try that again. Let's see if it sounds better on the earbuds. Let's see here. Yeah, okay. So it sounds better on the earbuds. Um, but there is still definitely some distortion coming out of the microphone. Um, I assume if you get earbuds with built-in, uh, microphones, you could use the microphone built into the headphones. Um, I can't guarantee that though, but I mean, it works. It doesn't sound the greatest, but it does work if you really need it to. Um, I don't know why you'd be really taking voice recordings off of this thing when you could probably do it on a phone. But anyways, let's go and go back. Uh, next thing you have here is games. You can see right here. All the different games right here. I'm going to click on, uh, let's do Tetris. Why not? Oh. You can hear it there. Once again, it's very quiet, but it is working. Let's press start. 
And I mean, yeah, I don't know how to play Tetris, but uh, it definitely does work. Yeah, check that out. You can play Tetris on your little uh, MP3 slash MP4 play there. So it does definitely work. And once again, here is all of the uh, different games here. Let's go and click on this one. I'm interested. Let's see what it is. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to play any of these. Let's go and get out of this and uh, go on with the actual review. So next thing you have here is books. Now, there is no books on here, but obviously if you open that up, We'll show you the list of your books. Next thing you have here is Bluetooth, and that is obviously to pair to Bluetooth devices such as um, Bluetooth speakers, Bluetooth earbuds, pretty much anything that's Bluetooth. This thing should work with it. It's gonna go back here, so that's definitely cool. I do like that it has Bluetooth, and actually I'm gonna turn that off, save some battery life. Um, and then next thing you have here is your tools, and here you actually have a scientific calculator um, decompression artifact. I'm not sure what that is. I'm going to click on it to show you. There's that. I didn't mean to bump the camera there. Sorry about that. Uh, next thing you also have is calendar along with a uh, stopwatch. So there's that. Um, you also have folder here. Now this is just to see um, what is on your the uh, mp3 player here. So for example, uh, the video is downloaded. It'll show you that. It'll show all of your different songs, all of your different videos, all of your different photos, books, and so on. Um, and then last thing here, you have your settings, which in here you have um, how long until the screen goes off. Uh, you have your brightness, which I'm gonna turn that up. Pretty bright screen, I'd say. Let's bring that back down. Uh, you have volume, storage space, um, advanced. Let's go and click on that. You have power saving. Uh, formatting card for, or formatting. Yeah. Okay. So there's two formattings, uh, restore to factory settings, date and time language, and then my equipment. I assume that gives like info about this thing. Okay. So it just shows the software version in there. So there's that. So that's all that is on this little thing. Um, so I guess what I'm going to go and do now is go and stop this clip and I'll go ahead and give you guys my final opinions. All right, so overall, what do I think of this MP3 player? Honestly, I would say this thing is pretty cool for the price, and that's because of a few things. Number one is build quality on this thing. This thing seems very, very solid. Definitely, uh, at least the sides are made out of metal, and the back, honestly, I would say the back, it feels like glass. Might be wrong about that, but either way, this whole thing uh, feels very solid, and also, I really like that it comes with this little case here. That's not something that I've seen. Just a basic little silicone case. Pop it in here, and uh, it will protect against scratches and stuff. Come on, get in there. I can't get over the edge. Anyways, so there's that. And um, the other thing is, because of this USB-C port, I find that really cool. Really starting to like devices that come with USB-C. Um, it's used on more and more devices these days. So if you have like a, 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 a Samsung charger or something for a newer Samsung, that's USB-C and you don't have the one for this one around, you can just use your phone charger to uh, charge this thing and it'll work. So really like that also, along with the uh, little wrist strap here. I haven't even taken this thing out, um, but it, I mean, it looks all right. So I really, really like that it comes with this thing too. I haven't seen that in any other MP3 player. So I really like it comes with that and these earbuds also. Um, now, once again, as I mentioned previously, I would say these things sound pretty decent, so I really like mainly all of the uh, extras it comes with. Uh, seems really good, and also what seems really good is the uh, built-in OS. This thing seems uh, pretty good, I would say. Definitely has a good amount of options. I believe you can set like an EQ and stuff in your music, so that's pretty cool. So overall, honestly, I would say for just around $50, I can't remember the exact price point for this thing, but it's right around there. Um, honestly, I would say this thing is definitely worth it. So uh, yeah, guess that's really it for this video. Hope everybody enjoyed, and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.